Welcome to Warriors TV. Tonight we are talking with defenseman Connor Lewis. First of all, Connor, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, Adam. Ah, oh, absolute pleasure. Um, now, you made your senior debut last season, um, but it was a slightly disappointing one, wasn't it? Because you got a, a couple of serious injuries. Yeah, I was a bit a bit unlucky with injuries last season. It was a bit disappointing, but if anything, it's made us a bit more eager this year to, to get going again. Yeah, yeah it was, you, you did your collarbone twice, so I'm assuming that's all good now. You're all fit yeah, and Yeah, I had, I had a surgery in February this year, so that's pinned and plated now, and it's all sorted. It's all 100%, if not better now, so... Oh, that's good. That's good to hear. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it must, must have been frustrating because you just got into the, the first team and you were, you were playing so well. And so it must, must have been frustrating. Yeah, it was a bit disappointing. I was, just, I was just kind of breaking in. But, you know, the lads were very supportive. Paul and Lobby were very supportive. Obviously, I had a great, great people around us to be helping us out. I got a lot of physio work, a lot of rehab in. Um, yeah, getting everything a bit stronger. I've been, I've been on the ice now since I'd say around about back into April, May. Uh, but yeah, everything's going well. Fitness is right up there now, so just can't wait for the season to start. Yeah, I can well imagine. Um, now, you made your debut away to witness last season, first game of the season, and you actually scored on your debut. So not many players have done that. So that's, uh, that's an impressive start. Yeah, it can't really get better than that. It was a bit surreal at the time. Didn't Probably didn't realise how much of a big of an achievement it was when it happened, but now I'm looking back on it, it's, it doesn't get much better. But yeah, hopefully I can carry on with that this season. Mm-hmm. I'm not really a, a goal scorer myself. I'm more more like to prevent the goals than anything else. But when they come, I like to take them. Yes, of course. And, and I'd imagine if you do get a goal this season, it will it will probably mean a lot more just because of uh, the frustration that you went through with the injuries last year. Yeah, just kind of get get the monkey off me back a bit. If, it, if one comes, yeah. it comes. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to be stressed about scoring. It's not my job at the end of the day. I'd rather pass it up to the, the forwards and let them do the work. But Yeah, yeah of course. Um, have you set yourself any targets for this year or are you expecting anything in particular from, from this season? Um, from a personal standpoint, I'd like to properly break into the team. You know, um, Kind of start off where I, where I started last year, but obviously a bit unfortunate. Um, as a team standpoint, obviously we want to win as much as we can and yeah, get the season going quick. We have to take game by game. There's there's a lot of challenging teams this year. I think uh, D side have a good team. Nottingham improved a lot over the season. Obviously, I, I watched a lot of the games rather than playing in it, and you kind of get a different viewpoint when you're watching. Mm-hmm. So you see a lot of see a lot of talent that you, you can kind of picture what the games are going to be like throughout the season so you, you never know you never know if our league obviously you've got the, the standouts like Solway and us and Soliola are always good but yeah I think it'll be an interesting season Yeah I quite agree Now uh, Connie you come from a, a a big hockey family really your dad played for Durham City Wasps and Billingham and I believe his yeah. sister as well also played uh, hockey for a women's team yeah. so that's um that's got to be good and a good bit of advice and support coming from them. Right? Yeah, it's, it's always made well, me. Dad wasn't such a bad player. I think he's pretty good. Yeah, I never got a chance to watch him. Yeah, so I remember when I was young, younger, he played in a testimonial for Andy Fletcher that used to play for Billingham, mm-hmm. and that was my first game of hockey I watched, and that was from then on that was what I wanted to do. So it's always good to have people that have played at the same level to be. He's he's coached us since I was probably under thirteen now, and he, he yeah he might get my back a bit, but it's always good to have a bit of advice off him. Yeah, of course, and uh, yeah, as as you said there, he's uh, one of the uh, junior development coaches for Whitley Bay. But yes, in his playing days, he was quite a star for Billingham, and uh, I believe he played on the same line with uh, Simon Hare, Dylan's dad. Yeah, yeah, I think they played together for quite a long time. They might, I think they. I think Simon's maybe a year year or two older, but I think they grew up playing with each other, around with each other. So it's, it's quite funny to see me and Dylan playing on the same team now, which is quite a coincidence, but yeah. It certainly is, yeah. And uh, keeping with that uh, sort of uh, family theme, your 
your girlfriend, Abby McCourt, who is also a, a hockey player. She represents Great Britain at under-18 level and um, and for Whitley Bay Beacons as well. So she, you must be really proud of what she achieved with the uh, with the A-teams out in Istanbul over the summer. Yeah, I was over the moon. Obviously, she, uh, she was lucky enough to score a goal for Great Britain. That not, that's not what many people do when they go out there. Um, I think, yeah, I think they got a silver medal as well, which is did, very yeah. impressive. It's it's something to look back on forever. You'll never, ever forget something like that. So I was very proud. I watched every game as, when I could. Um, so, yeah, very proud. Very lucky to have a girlfriend that, that can do that sort of thing. Nothing, I've never been able to do anything like that. So it's an achievement and a half. It certainly is, yeah. Um, but, um, I mean, I guess there's... Uh... A lot of support from on both sides. I'm sure she uh, she watches you playing for the Warriors as well. Yeah, she's always very supportive about everything. Uh, she helped a lot through through the injury. You know, it was, it was a hard time, so she she was very supportive throughout it all. So, yeah, no, that's great. Now we've been asking the rest of the lads what they've been doing during the, uh, the summer break because it's it's been about five months since we were last on the ice, and I know you were talking there before about your your rehab with your shoulder, but. Um, uh, have you been up to much this summer? Um, I started an apprenticeship around June, um, so obviously, a bit, bit, some, bit something a bit different for me to do. Um, been working a lot. I played in a junior tournament in Hull throughout the summer. Um, get a bit of rust off me. Um, so yeah, pretty productive summer. How did that tournament go? Um. From a personal standpoint, it went pretty well. It was nice to nice to get on, on, get on the ice again, get a bit of game time behind us. Um, team standpoint, it didn't go so well, but we, all, we always have a good laugh, the lads. It's a great bunch of lads, so, yeah. Well, it's great to hear. And, uh, well, Connor, just like to say thank you for the interview uh, once again and uh, wish you a, a much happier season and uh, an injury-free one. Yeah, thank you very much, Adam. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>